Hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome, welcome to another episode of What's on My Radar, the show where I talk about games. I am keeping a close eye on that you might not know about. We got another one here, guys. This one is one I really want to share with you. This is one I really want to talk to you guys about, okay? This is Crimson Desert. This game really hit me from out of nowhere, okay? And what's interesting about this game is, is that this is one of those games, right, where you don't expect it to be as awesome as you, you, you know, it's like, usually when it's an IP that you know about, like the next Assassin's Creed, you know, the next Ratchet and Clank, the next God of War, you can expect it to be awesome. But I didn't know too much about these guys, okay? I didn't know too much about these guys. And I've been reading up on them. I saw a gameplay trailer of upcoming games within the next two years, like, I don't know, 2021, 2022. And this was in the trailer. And I said, whoa, whoa, what is that? <laughs> Must have slipped my radar originally when it was first announced. That happens, right? So I went back and I did some research on Crimson Desert because, again, when I saw the gameplay that I'm about to show you, um, and you're going to know why, it was mind-blowing. So I said to myself, wow, this is really, really cool. This game looks insane. The graphics look absolutely stunning. The story premise and the atmosphere and the setting looks insane. The gameplay looked wild. And I couldn't believe that I haven't heard more about it. Exactly why I'm making this video. Now, for what I'm to understand, this game, because I've been doing a lot of reading about it. Oh, it's the developers behind Black Desert. So if you know that game, Black Desert, are working on a new fantasy adventure set in a war-torn tor realm. Now, let's see. Um, it's supposed to be winter of 2021. I'm just hoping this doesn't get, you know, snuck into next year. I really, I really hope not. Um, that's it. Pearl Abyss. Pearl Abyss, which is the, the, the team behind uh, Black Desert. So, that makes a lot of sense to me now. And I'm, I'm reading about it here. This is right off of Google. It's a single-player open-world adventure action game. It is being developed by Pearl Abyss, the team behind Black Desert. Oh, and Shadow Arena. Okay. It was first announced as a MMO... MMO RPG in November of 2020, 2019, but has changed course to a narrative solo experience with some multiplayer functions. Really? Let's watch the trailer. I got the sound muted. For copyright, but we'll get the idea. <laughs> Check this out. I'm getting a lot of vibes from a lot of different series on here, like different franchises, but this is going to be Series X, PS5, and PC.
I mean, I know a lot of people are like, oh, kind of reminds me of like a Assassin's Creed meets Skyrim. But I'm also getting a lot of Witcher from this. Especially that scene. There's a really long, in-depth trailer floating around of this with a lot of gameplay. Look at these scenes. It's like a movie. Very Elder Scrolls-ish, right? Oh, this is pretty long. Maybe this is the one I originally saw. I'm not going to play this whole thing, but I mean, I want you guys to see what this, why I'm pumped, why this is featured on um, what's on my radar, because rightfully so, right? The whole point of this show series is to show you games you might not have known about. And this originally snuck past me, but then I said, whoa, whoa, back up. I mean, this is, this is, this is definitely on my radar. Like, it's up there. It's very smooth, too. The combat system and the gameplay seem really nice, like tight controls. It's probably going to fly. It's probably going to sing on the Series X. It's going to it's going to be fast loading. HDR. We can only hope that it stays on target for re release. Um cuz that's still even if it is winter of 2021 that's still far away. So, I don't know. I don't know. I think this is going to be uh, one of those games where it's going to be. You're going to hear more and more about it for sure. Wow. This this is great. I'm surprised that they're showing as much as they're showing for this game. Um, it being as far out as it is, but I gotta be honest, guys, this is the same feeling I got when I first saw like Skyrim or The Witcher. I, I hope it lives up to it. Hmm. Yeah, winter twenty twenty one. So that's the main character. All right, cool. Huh. Wow, I, dude. What do you guys think? Is that something that's on your radar now? Now that you know about it? I, I, I think it should be. 
I mean, I've I featured some great games on here already. That should definitely be one of them. Because, you know, I understand what happens when you got these big already known IPs and franchises. And, you know, you miss games like this. And you this is sometimes when the hidden gems come out of nowhere and they blow people away. I'm definitely buying this day one. This is going to be pre-ordered, and I am going to be diving into this and enjoying it. This this is the kind of game that I like. This is the kind of game where you get so much bang for your buck. It's probably going to be endless hours long, right? Let's just hope, you know, it comes out in a decent time and it's really polished. Um... We don't need another cyberpunk uh, dilemma. And it looks good from what I'm seeing so far, and it's definitely up there on my radar. Um, wow. Crimson Desert. How did I get this one to slip past me? Well, it didn't. I caught it. It's not slipping past me because it's on my radar. And I'm super excited, and I'm going to be telling people about this for the months to come. You're going to want to know about this game. And I'm going to let people know. And I will be covering it on my channel. I'm probably going to get it for the Series X. I'm thinking. I don't know if it's going to have exclusives. I, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, we're going to find out. But um, who knows? Maybe they're going to work with uh, Sony or Microsoft. And we'll have to play that by year. But so far, I'm pumped. I'm excited. We got a lot of time before this comes out. I'm thinking we're going to see a lot more. And who knows now with E3 going digital this year. Maybe Pearl Abyss will be there and they have a lot to show. Take care, guys. This has been another episode of What's On My Radar. Lots coming to the series. We got lots to talk about. Some great games on the horizon, guys. You want to stay tuned.